say gang style can be kind of hard to talk about to a certain extent, you know, because uh, the main ones that when you think about it, you know what I'm saying, you ain't just been targeted. If you're a real targeted individual, that shit been going on. So, you know, it really be like the people you grew up with, your family, you know what I'm saying, the so-called friends and shit. So it's like when you expose your targeting and you start talking about certain shit, then certain people are implicated, you feel me? And it makes certain people look bad and shit, you feel me? And I don't be doing this shit for that, you feel me? That's why sometimes I'll drop a video and then I think about it and be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to make my people look bad even though they doing whole shit, even though they down with gang stalking. I'm not down with that, that, that fluky ass shit, you feel me? That fugazi ass shit. So I take the video down, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes I be needing to vent. Because, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is a revelation. When you a targeted individual, it's a revelation. And once you wake up to this shit, shit start making sense. It be like, damn. No wonder this motherfucker treated me like this. Or no wonder this motherfucker acted like this. Or no wonder we could not never work out. You know what I'm saying? It be like that because... You didn't know at the time, but then once you wake up, you start seeing everything, connecting the dots, and you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's just a lot to take in, and everybody can't handle that shit, you feel me? Everybody's not built for this shit, you feel me? It's only certain individuals built for this shit, you know? This shit is not a game, my nigga. And for you to be targeted on a consistent every fucking day to day basis, my nigga, and know that you fucking targeted every single fucking day and still be able to get up and still be able to go harder, you know what I'm saying, put on a nice little out outfit, you know what I'm saying, go handle your business and shit out in society, knowing that once you step out that door, you finna be targeted and shit. For you to still be able to do that, everybody can't do that shit, bro. So... Just think, like, these people probably look at us like, damn, man, that motherfucker is dope. They can't say that shit, you know what I'm saying? Either they gonna hate or they gonna admire. That Those are the only two things that they could do. They can either admire us because we so fucking dope to be able to go through this shit, or they can hate us because <laughs> they ain't strong enough to do it, you feel me? They ain't strong enough to get through this shit, and they'll never want to know what this shit feels like, you feel me? But yeah, man, I don't be trying to implicate certain people, you know. I don't be wanting to make motherfuckers look bad and shit. Sometimes the per the perps on the street though, I don't be giving a fuck about them, bro. I don't be giving a fuck unless I gotta keep doing business with, like, in my apartments where I stay and shit. I don't like to get my neighbors and shit, cause that could turn into a whole situation. Office and shit get involved and shit, and now you 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 the motherfucker getting put out and shit like that. So it's it's certain shit I just don't do as a ti. You feel me? Now, the, the ultimate goal as a TI is to be able to still handle your business and, and, and get on your shit, you feel me? Targeted and all, you feel me? The best time to get your gang stalking footages is, 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 is when you on the streets, is when you homeless, is when you on, on the bus line, when you ain't got a whip, you know what I'm saying? That's the best time because shit, that's when they coming at your ass hard. Trust me, I know I've been there. I've been targeted overtly since 2013 you feel me 2013 we in 2023 bro december 1st on my birthday 2013 i'm damn near 10 years in this shit i just didn't know what the fuck i was going through until 2017 it took me four fucking years to find out what the fuck the problem is man you feel me and it's stressful in the beginning when you first going through this shit. Like, you don't know what the fuck to do, bro. You you don't know what the fuck to think, bro. And people gaslighting you. Everybody know what you going through. All your people, everybody know. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? And the goal is for you to find the fuck out. But for them, the goal is for you to never find out. You feel me? So if you can find out what you're going through, bro, that's why I say, man, you need to thank God because many people do not find out about this shit, man. I thank God that I found out about this shit because now I don't take shit personal. Motherfuckers don't fuck with me. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Because they let me know what side they on. And then it let me know why they was the way that they had been the whole time. Because that's the side they on. We on two different sides. We, we cut from two different cloths. You feel me? 
So yeah, man, shit, that that gang stalking shit, boy, you gotta be a strong minded person, bro. Thing about me is I'm talented as fuck. I, I, I never understood like why motherfuckers will be sleeping on me and shit. Like with my music and shit, I be going hard as fuck, bro. I'm talented in a lot of areas. I make people laugh. I'm talking about really fucking laugh and shit. You feel me? Funny. You know what I'm saying? Like musically talented, intelligent as fuck. I was always a grade A student. I ain't never did a drug in my life. I ain't never even popped a fucking pill. Never snorted a line of coke. Never lit up no crack. None of that shit, bro. All I've ever did was smoke marijuana, and I don't even do that no more. You feel me? I don't need to. The most I do is hit a CBD blunt. But I've been shit, shit. It's probably been a, uh, about three weeks since I had one of them, you know? But motherfuckers will be sleeping on me, but they'll be congratulating and praising a whack motherfucker, and I wouldn't get that shit. Like, what the fuck? Now, I understand, man. It's for me to never realize my true potential. They've been trying to censor me and silence me since I was a child, make me afraid to speak and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I was always timid and shit. You feel me? So motherfuckers that see me now or hear me now, they probably be like, damn, man. We didn't know she had all that in her. We knew she could rap, but damn, this nigga, this nigga pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? I used to always play dumb. I used to let motherfuckers think I ain't no shit. I used to let them think that I was dumb. You know what I'm saying? Because when you let a motherfucker think that, they gon' you you'll be able to see who they really are. You know what I'm saying? When they underestimate you, you see who they really are. So I've always been that type, you know what I'm saying? I've always just, you know what I'm saying, just chill, you know what I'm saying, just chill. Let a motherfucker do what they do. When they would do their whole, whole ass perk shit, I peep it. I just would never call it out. But now it all makes sense, man. You know what I'm saying? It all makes sense why motherfuckers would sleep on me and shit like that. Choose others before me and shit like that. Act like I ain't shit, you know what I'm saying? They never wanted me to reach my true potential. But once I start like spreading my wings, getting into that scripture, learning God's word, learning how he truly wants his children out here to be. He said my people perish for ignorance, for lack of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Once I start getting wise into his word, shit, man, what, 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 what can they do? You feel me? I done been at my motherfucking lowest. So I know how to, if, if ever I'm in the trenches again, I know how to overcome that shit. Because I've been there. You feel me? A lot of people can't say that. Some people hit rock bottom and don't know how to get the fuck back up. I done hit rock bottom, lost all my shit, got it back, lost it again, got even more back. That's how God work, bro. God is good, my nigga. You got to have God to get through this shit, my nigga. You cannot get through this shit on your own. You cannot get through gang stalking on your own. You have to have the most high God with you. And in, in order to endure this shit, my nigga. And if you notice, them motherfuckers out here that's gang stalking you, they don't know God. It's the motherfucking Mac and I'm out.